guys have been playing with uh, uh, prompt engineering, if you will, playing with AI and having okay. a good time with it. A uh, lot, lot of uh, very interesting and helpful responses from our robot friend. I always just like to call AI my robot buddy. Uh, but mm -hmm. I'm curious, do you think AI could be your product owner in a scrum team? Why not? Like, I mean, like replace all of the people? No, not all of the people necessarily. Like, let's start with product owner. I mean, we can play with the other accountabilities, I suppose. But um, okay, I mean, why not? I'm genuinely curious yep. if we think that's a, a feasible thing. All right, I, I just imagine we're going to cut into a scene that shows uh, Judgment Day and all the robots coming in and you know <laughs> so, wiping out all the humans. So right. this is what ChatGPT <laughs> is going to do for our product owners. They're going to come in, they're going to wipe you all out, and you're going to be unemployed. Um, but I mean, that's that's a great question. So what what does a product owner do? Are they a backlog manager? Are they somebody who takes an idea and just writes all the requirements? I mean, yeah, maybe AI could do that. There's enough information out there in the world to probably understand the basics of the requirements to solve a problem given context. So if you gave it context in your prompt and you gave it, you know, some basic expectations, it might come up with some at least basic ideas and what to do. Uh, will it know how to maximize value? Maybe, maybe uh, giving, if you are good at giving a context and, and the prompt engineering stuff. Um, but I feel like where a product owner really excels is in doing things that aren't algorithmic and, and, and doing things that aren't predicted. Like they go with a hunch and they try an idea and they say, hey team, I, I can't explain it, but let's try this. Build me something. In a week or two, they have something usable. We ship it. And then you gauge the reaction to the market and it completely didn't follow the rules you were expecting. I'm not totally sure an AI could do that yet because AI, AI is still in a lot of ways basing itself on human rules. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't develop AI. No, I'll, I'll <laughs> take that a step further. Uh, um, I, I'm going to answer a slightly different question than you than you asked, Greg, because because right now I think the answer is obvious. I don't think an AI could replace your product owner right now. So then, to me, the more interesting question becomes: Could an AI get to the point where it uh, replaces your product owner? Hmm. Even that, I, I think. I land in the no, I don't think so category, and and here's why: at least not AI as we currently understand it as a language model and things like that. Um, and the reason is because not only are you doing the things that Rob just said, going with a hunch and trying things out and and exhibiting creativity and and decision making that isn't just sort of algorithmic and data driven, um, you're also dealing with a lot of people stuff. Like a lot of times, people oversimplify the product owner role as, oh, you deal with the backlog and the producty stuff and the scrum master deals with the people stuff. Product owners pe deal with people stuff too. It's just in a very different way. Um, the best product owners that I've worked with have very good people skills at dealing with a diverse set of stakeholders and you know getting input from all of them and then vision casting and saying to some stakeholders, yes, your thing that you care most about is going to happen sooner. And to other stakeholders, I'm sorry, I know this feature set is really important to you, but we're going to be um, moving that further down the backlog and developing some other things first, and here's why. And and engaging in like that kind of negotiation and um, aligning different you know people in different roles around the product. So I don't think an AI could do that just yet. Could it do some algorithmic things if you fed it terms about value and and user base and, and how often are certain features used and order some things in your backlog. Yeah, maybe, but that's a, that's a small part of what the product owner does in my opinion. Well, I'm digging it. I, I also think that uh, AI is uh, definitely short of being a replacement for product ownership. Uh, I, I, I like the human element that was drawn out what you just said, Jason, I think uh, two things come to mind. Product owners uh, need a certain amount of empathy as they're working with, stakeholder mm -hmm. and customer base to uh, both on the business and the uh, external side of things. Um, if we don't have product owners who can have conversations that are hard, difficult, and can uh, feel the heat and the passion coming from the people around, uh, a robot's are not going to pick that up, at least not yet. And then um, the other piece I think of is, you know, the bias doing the right thing. Sometimes it's not obvious. It's not always black and white. And things that are algorithmic tend to you know, go with um, the populace, which may not necessarily be relevant of our culture, the timing, a lot of nuances that I think uh, true human in engagement uh, um, really can support and evoke. So um, I'm with you. I, I don't think AI can replace 
the product owner accountability. Can it help a product owner be better? I think so. I think we are terrible sure. at utilizing the tools that we have to our disposal. So uh, go do that. You know, they can help build better goals. They can help you evaluate the data and uh, recognize opportunities for improvement and uh, maybe even help you build some hypothesis to uh, work your product backlog around. But um, yeah, no, I'm with you guys. I ain't going to replace uh, product owners, at least not anytime soon. Not soon. And all the product owners breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> Did you know we teach professional scrum courses? If not, check the links in the description for information about how you can join one of our professional scrum courses and hang out with us. All right, you know the drill. This is YouTube after all, so this is where I ask you to click the thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit the bell, or whatever else YouTube's come up with these days for you to get our videos delivered to you. Or even better, in our description below, there's a link where you can get these videos delivered straight to your inbox.